Hello Woodstock Fruit Festival family. Today is August 31st, 2015, and it's been about eight days since the end of the 2015 Woodstock Fruit Festival. I'm here to talk to you about the results of our challenge, a challenge to keep the Woodstock Fruit Festival alive. Before I tell you the results of our signups, I want to just explain to people that I feel it's really important that nobody believes this was a gimmick, that the Woodstock Fruit Festival sincerely was closing down just a few weeks ago. Most people don't make their plans to go on vacation until usually a short time before they depart. And I understand that because I also usually do the same thing. But for the last six years of since I created the Fruit Festival, I've had to lay out the money to make ends meet. And that started before the first Fruit Festival, back in 2010. So I haven't been able to make ends meet, and I've gotten tired of being that person. I've felt uh, resentful at times, and I've been very frustrated with a lot of the politics that have taken place over the last few years, and uh, the stress of trying to manage too many things. So, although I didn't want to shut down the Woodstock Fruit Festival, I sincerely felt like I had done my part. And in hindsight, I appreciate that I had this experience. Because it forced me to ask for help, and that's something that I don't normally know how to do very well. And I'm sorry it came to making a decision of whether to close the festival down or keep it going. Um, but. The, uh, what's taken place over the last two weeks of people coming to, to show support has is, is been um, a good experience for me. So, two weeks ago when we were arriving at the Fruit Festival, we were literally taking pictures of all of our inventory to post it all on Craigslist and eBay. We were shutting down the festival. And I honestly didn't think it had a chance because the amount of money that we need to make ends meet uh, a year out from the event is tremendous. And this isn't uh, a fruit lot. This is a major production. The budget is often uh, over $400,000 to put on this event at the quality level that we want to that we want to uh, deliver to our attendees. So um, I was really surprised on the first day that uh, we had a, a somebody show up, an owner of a very large farm in Jamaica. He came unannounced. I had no idea he was coming. Um, the owner of Martha's Best, his name is Greg, and he said he came to check out to see what we were doing. And he was extremely impressed. And he almost uh, immediately opened up his wallet and said, I'm ready to give you whatever it takes to keep this place going. And I, uh, I, wanna, I wanna be fair, and I said, well, I, we, I don't want money. I said, well, we need support, we need fruit. We need a lot of papaya because his papaya is non-GMO, it's grown with organic practices, it's fabulous quality, it's the best strawberry papaya I've ever had. And, and I, I, was, I was really, uh, wasn't ready for this. I, my, my mind and my psychology was set up to just shut it all down. And it opened up the possibility of maybe we can keep the fruit festival going if we had these uh, three big principles uh, put in place so I would take the, um, the plunge of signing another another year of contracts. So as most of you know, uh, Greg pledged $50,000 worth of papaya and that's 50,000 wholesale dollars of papaya. Retail, we're talking about $100,000 worth of papaya and this is the best papaya that money can buy. So this was a tremendous benefit for us. Um, the next thing we needed was a really good rate on the rental of Camp Walden. Camp Walden is an extremely important part of the Woodstock Fruit Festival. Uh, our community is what makes it happen, but if we don't have a, a first world-class uh, place to put on the event, it, it wouldn't be nearly as good as it is. So Mark Bernstein gave me a very good fair market value. Um, he barely increased the rate at all, even though he put in a $2 million lodge, which was a tremendous benefit for our organization. So he really gave us a, a very good offer. And the, uh, the lastly, the thing I needed most of all was signups. I needed people to put up the money so I wouldn't have to be in a position in the winter months when nobody's thinking about going to a fruit festival 
to have to make the rental payments um, on time, which I've had to do in the past. So I said we needed 200 people to sign up. And to be totally honest, we don't really need 200 people on a payment plan in order to make the monthly payments for Camp Walden. I think we needed somewhere in the range of 170 people. But I figured maybe it'd be wise to go to 200 just so we have a little something extra. Because we've always run this organization with never an extra dollar. And, um, and it's just a very irresponsible way to do, to do things. So we made the number 200. And the results are in. And we, uh, we're, I mean, the results are changing all the time because people are signing up at an incredible rate. And I, I just, I'm speechless. I really am. I'm very, uh, I'm very humbled. I'm, 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 I feel, uh, I feel appreciated. I just, I, I mean, my emotions are all over the place. I'm, my mood is, uh, I, I've got a lot of, I don't know, a lot of, I feel, I feel like I, there's, there's the resolve in me to keep this event going now is, is never been stronger. And, uh, and that's because we're, we're, we're very close to about 250 people, uh, that have registered for this event in 10 days since the event closed. That's right, we absolutely blew away 200. I, I just got the chills, I, I, I don't believe it. I almost don't believe it. And then when you factor in that we have about 110 people that come for work exchange every year, when you add that 110 on top of the 250 that have actually put their money where their mouth is, they paid to come back, they paid to keep this event alive, we're at 350 people plus for an event that's not taking place for an entire year from now. That represents, like, a, I think it's greater than 70% of our attendance from the festival in 2015. It's extraordinary. It's, uh, it's powerful. It's a demonstration. It's, it's the, uh, it's the love of, of a better diet and a better future, and we're all doing it together. And I, um, I just I thank everybody for, for making my dream a reality. It's, uh, and now we can dream together. So there's absolutely going to be a 2016 festival. I think there's going to be a Woodstock Fruit Festival forever. I do. I, really, I just think, I think we're on to something great. It's a, it's a whole new world, and we're on to something great. And... It's fascinating. It's uh, th these. We're gonna look back at these times in the years to come, and we're gonna say, "Remember when? When we did it together?" You know, I I had the idea, but that's all it was was an idea. And then you guys believed in the idea, and now now it's 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 not any one person that's keeping this going. It really is a community. It really is a collective effort, and uh, I'm extremely grateful. <sighs> it's the proudest. Thing that I've ever been involved with in my entire life and that's easy for me to say so but here's the thing all right we've got about 250 people paying to come but we need 400 paying people for me to be off the hook financially so as encouraged as I am right now the reality is until there's 400 people that are paying I'm still the guy that's signing the legal contracts so Although I want you guys to be uh, very excited that there's going to be a 2016 Woodstock Fruit Festival, I still want, to, I want your help to promote it and to get more people to sign up. But I'm, I'm half serious because I think we're not going to have any problem over the next 355 days to get another you know, 200 people to sign up. I think we're going to, we might, we might have to turn people away, but I hope that doesn't happen. So keep spreading the word. You guys are the marketing team. I will pledge to show up and do my best to make incredible improvements in the Woodstock Fruit Festival for, for the next year. Um, I think the goal is going to be somewhere in the range of 700 to 750 people for the event. About 200 of those people will be work exchange because we need to increase our volunteer um, level in a big way. Uh, so the kitchen staff and the garbage guys and the, the kids camp and there's just there's so many people that make this event happen and we really need to increase our staffing. So um, with that many people, you're probably wondering how long is the line going to be to, uh, to the dinner, to the dining room? Well, we probably rent tents and we're going to get forklifts and hand trucks and we're going to get professional and we're going to have multiple locations for, for food and, um, and we're going to study how to make the event better than ever. 
so it can accommodate people where the quality doesn't go down, it goes up. And that's my job, and I will continue to work hard on that job, and you have my pledge. So, oh, I have a list of here of improvements. Well, we need more trucks, we need professional truck drivers. I don't want to be driving a truck anymore. Uh, it's dangerous, there's a lot of risk and a lot of liability. Um, we need a lot more porta johns if we're going to have 750 people because we don't want to blow up the septic system. Um, we definitely want to do composting. All right, I got a phone call, sorry about that. I was talking about the improvements. Well, oh, we're going to improve on the food. Uh, I know 2015 had a great year for, for, uh, for fruit, but a lot of it wasn't organic. Um, a lot of the figs were moldy because we had to buy super deals. Um, we didn't have enough durian and we didn't have enough coconuts. Uh, we're going to spend the money. The money is going to be put into the event. We're going to make it better than ever. Um, one thing I want to ask you guys to do, this is important, Martha's Best really is giving us $100,000 worth of, that's the retail price of papaya. Uh, we want to show them thanks. Uh, if you're on Instagram, you can tag Martha's Best. Uh, you can follow them on Facebook. You can send them a thank you note and let them know that uh, you appreciate that they're supporting us. And if you were interested in trying Martha's Best, you can order from them directly on their website and you can get 20% off any order by putting in the discount coupon code WFF. So I want to thank Greg and his daughter Nicole for being a believer in what we're trying to do. There's going to be more emails coming uh, about Martha's Best in the future on how we can help promote and show uh, thanks by promoting them to our local produce, um, our buyers, our supermarket managers. Uh, they're hopefully going to be a sponsor for years to come. If you're going to be coming to the 2016 Woodstock Fruit Festival, you're going to have the best papaya on the planet. It's I, I tell I tell Martha's Best um, that there's nobody in the world that's eaten more papaya, um, Martha's Best papaya than me. I was, you know, eating 25 of these a day when I was doing my ultra running, and um, it's a it's a big part of my health success uh, in athletics. So I, I highly recommend the papaya. It really has been phenomenal. Uh, and lastly. Uh, I want to thank all the volunteers that made the 2015 event happen. They were overworked, underpaid, as in zero. They brought in so much heart. I'll tell you a quick story. When we finished cleaning up on Sunday, after everybody left, and there were about 80 people there working hard, scrubbing the floors, and I mean scrubbing the floors, and on their knees, we filled up all the dumpsters, the five dumpsters, and the big monster truck showed up to haul it all away and they couldn't pick up the dumpsters. They were too heavy. And this was a major problem, major problem. Well, it just took me a few, you know, shouts and said, hey, we got a major problem. We got to get in the dumpsters and we've got to start moving the rebagging and lessening the load on these dumpsters. And, uh, I, you know, there, there was an unlimited amount of volunteers to get the job done. It was absolutely gruesome. It was a, it was, it was a sight to be seen, and uh, we got it done. So the volunteers, if you, if you see a volunteer at the Woodstock Fruit Festival, please thank them. They're really what make the events, ha events happen. Um, but they'd only show, they only show up because of the people that paid. And the 250 people that really made this event happen, you guys are the reason why it's surviving, and the volunteers have another year to come back bust their butts again to put on the best event. So lastly, I want to mention that for the people that haven't signed up, the prices of will continue to rise each month. And we're not going to be heavily discounting the Fruit Festival next year. I don't think we're going to need to do that. And we're going to make it a strong point not to do that. We, we need people to sign up in advance so we can plan properly. This year we had a tremendous amount of stress. It was very difficult trying to accommodate the 200 people that signed up in the last six weeks. Um, and we need, we need you to, to respect that we need to keep the price where it is and increase it so, to encourage people to sign up in advance. So for the many people that email me, call me, and ask me for special, special friendship discounts and you know this, that, and the other thing, I, please don't do it. I can't, I gotta treat everybody fairly and I can't do that. The money that gets paid into the Woodstock Fruit Festival goes into making it better. So when you contribute and pay, you're doing, you're doing your share. So I think that's about it. Uh, 
And this is a turning point in what we're doing together. The Woodstock Fruit Festival is being supported by this community. And that is quite possibly the most successful thing that I've ever been involved with in my life. Thanks for your support, for your confidence, for your trust. I pledge to you that I will continue to work hard and do everything I can to push our beliefs forward to a greater audience. The Woodstock Fruit Festival for me is a good time, but it's first and foremost a demonstration. It's to show people what's possible in the world on raw fruits and vegetables. So thank you for joining in that, in that, in that challenge and in that goal with me. All right, see you in August, upstate New York, Woodstock. It's still going to be back. <laughs>